below, this time, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa finding the missing term in a proportion. Pag sinasabi nating proportion, ito ay tumutukoy sa dalawang equivalent ratio or dalawang ratio na kung saan ay equal. But bago tayo magsimula, magkakaroon muna tayo ng review na ang ratio ay pwede nating isulat into colon form and fraction form. So, pag sinabi nating fraction form, so, yan ang tinatawag na fraction form. And then, pwede din nating isulat ang ratio into colon form. So, 6 is to 10 is equals to 3 is to 5. So, para malaman kung proportion ba or equal ba itong dalawang ratio, multiply lang natin yung kanilang mga terms. So, itong 10 at saka 3, ang tawag sa terms na ito ay means. At saka itong 6 at saka 5, ang tawag sa terms na ito ay extremes. Okay. Ganun din sa ating fraction form, ang 10 at saka 3 ay means, at saka ang 6 at 5 ay tinatawag na extremes. So, gagamitan lang natin ito ng cross product method or multiply natin ng pa-cross. So, gaya nito, 10 times 3 is equals to 30. 6 times 5 is equals to 30. Kapag pareho ang product ng means at saka extremes, ibig sabihin, yung dalawang given ratio ay tinatawag na proportion or equal ratios. So, gaya din dito sa colon form, pag i-multiply natin, 10 times 3 is equals to 30. 6 times 5 is equals to 30. Pareho ang kanilang product. So, proportion ang dalawang given ratios. So, this time, I have here an example of two ratios na kung saan missing ang isang term. Ibig sabihin ng missing, hindi natin alam kung anong number ang nandito. Kaya sinulat natin ang N representing the missing number. So, yung means na term ay kulang. So, hahanapin natin yung missing term in a proportion. So, una, i-multiply natin using our cross product method, 5 times N. So, 5 times N is equals to then, yung ating extremes na 1 at saka 30, 1 times 30. And then, let's proceed on multiplying. 5 times n is equals to 5n. 1 times 30 is equals to 30. And then, divide natin yung number ng incomplete term. So, Dahil ang incomplete term natin ay ang means, so yung number niya ay 5. So, i-divide natin 5, dito din 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, automatic na yan, i-cancel natin. Ang natira na lang dyan ay N. Then, 30 divided by 5 is equals to 6. Therefore, yung missing term natin representing the N is 6. So, pwede natin itong i-check. So, upon checking, pwede natin isulat. 1 over 5 is equals to yung N natin na 6 over 30. So, tingnan natin kung proportion ba yung dalawang ratio na ito. So, again, let's multiply the means. 5 times 6 is equals to 30. 
1 times 30 is equals to 30. Since magkapareho yung product ng means at saka extremes, therefore, yung 1 over 5 at 6 over 30 ay proportion or two equivalent ratios. Okay, another example is 3 over 18 is equals to 2 over n. So, kung titingnan natin, yung extremes na term ay missing yung isa. So, i-multiply natin ito using the cross product method. So, unahin natin ang means 18 times 2 is equals to 3 times n. Then, equals 18 times 2 is equals to 36. 3 times n is equals to 3n. And then, gaya ng sabi ko, i-divide natin yung number ng missing term. So, dahil ang missing term natin ay extremes, yung natitirang number na 3 ay i-divide natin sa parehong terms. So, dito, 36 divided by 3, and then, 3n divided by 3. So, nahin natin dito, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so, i-cancel na lang natin. Ang natira dyan ay n. And then, 36 divided by 3 is equals to 12. Therefore, yung missing term natin na n is 12. Okay, pwede nating i-check. So, i-check natin. 3 is to 18 is equals to 2 over 12. So, multiply natin using the cross product method. 18 times 2 is 36. 3 times 12 is 36. Therefore, correct yung ating sagot na 12. Okay, another example is 6 over n is equals to 2 over 13. So, this time, so let's multiply using the cross product method. So, n times 2 or 2 times n is equals to 6 times 13. And then, let's proceed. 2 times n equals 2 n. 6 times 13 is equals to 78. And then, as I have said, i-divide natin yung number ng missing term. Yung incomplete terms, i-divide natin both sides. So, divided by 2. And then, dito, divided by 2. So, equals. Dito, cancel natin dahil parehong 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, that represents our n. 78 divided by 2 is equals to 39. Therefore, yung missing term natin ay 39. So, I have here another example using colon form. So, kung titingnan natin, yung extremes ay missing yung isang term. So, simply lamang. First, multiply the complete terms. So, ito yung shortcut method ko. Kung ano yung term na kompleto, yun ang i-multiply mo. So, dito sa akin, 9 times 8 is equals to 72. And then, yung incomplete terms o yung term na missing yung isa or incomplete, i-divide lang natin. 72 divided by 2 is equals to 36. Therefore, yung n natin ay 36. So, pwede din natin itong i-check. 2 is to 9 is equals to 8 is to 36. So, gaya ng sabi ko, multiply the means, 9 times 8, 72, multiply the extremes, 
2 times 36 is 72. So, therefore, itong 36 natin na sagot is correct. So, another example is in fraction form. I have here 2 over 4 is equals to n over 60. So, ipapakita ko ulit yung tamang process ng pagsagot. So, multiply the means 4 times n. 4 times n is equals to times 60, yung extremes natin. Then, 4 times n is 4n. 2 times 60 is 120. And then, divide natin yung number ng missing term or incomplete term. So, 4, both sides, i-divide natin. So, it's can cancel na natin. Yung parehong 4, ang natira na lang dyan ay N. Then, 120 divided by 4 is 30. Kung gusto naman natin, mamadali tayo sa oras. So, ganito yung aking paraan sa pagsagot. First, i-multiply natin yung kompletong terms. So, ang complete dito yung extremes. So, 2 times 60 is equals to 120. And then, i-divide natin yung incomplete na terms. So, ang incomplete terms natin ay ang means. So, yung natira na lang sa means ay 4. So, 120 divided by 4 is equals to 30. Therefore, yung ating n ay 30. Another example, using my shortcut method, I have here 3 is to 4 is equals to 6 is to n. So, first, i-multiply natin kung anong term ang kompleto. So, 4 times 6 is 24. And then, divided by the incomplete term. Yung walang pares na number ay 3. So, 24 divided by 3 is equals to 8. Therefore, our n is 8. Okay, another example you, using my shortcut method. This time, ang kompletong terms ay extreme, so multiply natin. 2 times 21 is 42. Divided by the incomplete terms, that is 14. So, 42 divided by 14 is equals to 3. So, yung n natin ay 3. Okay, last example. 3 is to n is equals to 15 is to 20. So, yung ating complete terms ay extreme. So, let's multiply. 20 times 3 is equals to 60. Divided by the incomplete terms, 15. So, 60 divided by 15 is 4. So, pwede natin itong i-check. So, i-check natin kung tama ba yung n natin na 4. So, 3 is to 4 is equals to 15 is to 20. So, multiply the means. 4 times 15 is 60. 3 times 20 is 60. So, pareho yung kanilang cross product method. Therefore, yung sagot natin na 4 ay tama.